everyone, it's Re with Cute Many Things back in the craft room with kind of my 2020 planner setup. It's going to be a few part series kind of video because there's so much to do. Um, you're probably wondering why are there so many planners. I picked out so many planners for 2020 and I'm going to, you know, I did a lot of thought like how I'm going to use it. How am I using my planner now and what do I like? So I love to Franken plan because sometimes, I don't know, I like having different kinds of sections for different things and I love different layouts. Sometimes I'm in a mood for a vertical layout or I'm in a mood for something else or I want to try something else. And the only way I'm going to do that is trying out all the planners. So yes, I went a little crazy and I purchased a bunch of planners. So of course my very first planner was the Encourager from the Happy Planner. It is classic size. Um, it came on these beautiful pink metal discs and I liked it because it had this kind of layout. Something different, I've never used it. Everybody says it looks like the fitness um, layout and I thought it'd be cool to try it out. Um, so this is going to be my main kind of chores, to-dos, errands, everything that I need to do is going to be listed here, probably mostly for shop, um, for my Etsy shop. So we'll see if I put this as a just everything. We'll try it out. But I didn't really like the cover for this. So first planner I bought for 2020 was this. I'm going to use the layout for it. Um, my next one, I bought the Stargazer Planner. I fell in love with the cover, but it is a monthly layout. Now, I have used the monthly layout many times in classic size, in mini size. I love it. I'm a list person, and I found different ways. If you haven't seen my video on how to use it, check that video out. Um, but it is the monthly layout. So you have like a kind of um, habit tracker little list, check it off list, reflection, which is amazing. I like that area. And then you just have bullet points to do, to do lists, a running to do list. You can set this up any way you want. Um, I love all the dividers in this and I'm going with that whole stargazer theme for next year. We'll see because I changed my mind a lot, but I love the cover. Wanted to do something different and change out the discs. So I've always had gold discs. So I purchased this planner because it had the metal um, blue disc with, as you can see, it's not here. I took it off and I was, I'm using it on my skinny mini because it matched um, a planner cover my friend Jessica made me. Um, from Instagram and it just matched that planner so well. So if you haven't seen that, check out my Instagram pictures. But I took the rings off. I bought it because I thought the rings would go well with this planner, which it did not. So I have two of the same planners, but then it got me thinking, what am I going to do with this? I can't just do a giveaway on the planner and take the rings off. So I just decided, you know what? I really love just a monthly section. I'm a monthly girl. As you can tell, I do lists. I'm going to try out these, but I can tell you right now, I love laying down stickers, but the, I don't need very much to plan. Um, everything I do, I can have a list of things that I can do and check them off. That's a little bit more of how I plan. And then I couldn't resist because with the Teresa Collins um, Be Happy box, I fell in love with the color scheme and then how neutral this planner is. And I love the whole black and pink. So yes, I got another planner. Look, this is not even open. I haven't even, I was like, I knew I wanted this planner and I didn't even open it because I knew I was like, nope, it's coming into my setup. So I plan on using this probably for my shop. It is the vertical layout. I love it. Um, and I'm thinking of different ways how I can organize my shop um, because there's so many things it's starting to pick up and I need to keep track on things. So another planner, which I love. This one is so beautiful. I love the motivational quote, quotes. It's very work, um, you know, kind of inspiration. 
And so I plan on using this for work and my shop, um, which is the same thing. Um, but day to day, my plans are always almost the same. It's just get stuff done. So I plan on putting this into my setup. If you don't know, I'm a Franken planner. So I'll take the guts out of things and put them all in one. I usually do it by the month, but I'm probably going to do something like that for this and um, this planner and then something different. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to create a monthly section. Um, I know this has been done before. I think I've seen it on YouTube before, but I wanted to show you guys how I'm going to be setting mine up. So in my planner, I am going to have a section just for this whole year in a glance. I have four planners. That means I'm going to have four of these, which is amazing. So I might have birthdays in one with anniversaries. I might have, you know, shop releases, um, cause I really need to get better at that. <laughs> and just all the things that you need, you want to track. If you haven't seen, um, I think it's, uh, Heather Kell of a plan. She does 50 ways to use this. So if you're like me and buy several planners, you're going to get a bunch of these. So, you know, just think about how you can put this in one section and have all these to track. So I'm a big movie person. I have movie stickers that are um, in my shop that I could use on these. There's so many different things you can track on here. Um, TV series, um, your fitness, your weight, your health. Um, appointments, everything from traveling. So I'm excited. I think I'm going to do my work schedule because I love to see that all in one section um, and just flip through it. So um, I'm excited about this. All right. So that is what I'm going to do with these. So I'm going to go ahead and take these out and make a section. Now, I only need one of these whole um year at a glance thing. So I, I have so many to choose from on which I want to do. All right. So I want to make a monthly section. My plan is to take these all for the whole year and make them into one section to where all these guts are not here, which is cool because that means I have extra. So I got to figure out how we're going to do this to the point where all we see is this and then it goes into the next divider. I think what we'll do is we'll take out the guts and we'll put these two papers together. That way you have January, it goes into the February section, you'll have February. So yeah, let's do that. So let's go. I'm gonna take all of these. And I'm probably just going to stick these two pieces together. Yes, I'm wasting paper, but remember, I have a whole nother planner that's the exact same um, setup. And these could be stuck into there if I need more, more of these sheets. So I'm not really losing out on that. Um, I can have more gratitude, reflection, and intentions. So that's going to be cool. All right. I'm going to take these out and I'm probably just going to do some double sided adhesive to stick this together. Oh, this is going to be amazing. So what do I use my monthly for? My bills, tracking, you know, different events that's going on in our, you know, trips, um, any, anything in, uh oh, I already messed up. Anything important, that's probably where I'm going to track it. And I like to see that all in one and not have to go back to my other planner and be like, okay, let me go back to February. Where is that planner that I stuck it in? Now I have all my monthlies all in one section and I can flip through it. You could pre plan, you could set up, I don't know, I, I'm one of those people, I love to set up a whole year just because <laughs> I think that would be fun. And it'll probably end up, the layout would probably be so much better if I go ahead and do it now while I have the stickers. 
So I'm excited. Look at how beautiful these dividers are. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And then I'll probably end up filling these out, which I never do. So 2020 goal, which I need to go ahead and start thinking about. I want to fill up a whole planner. I want to stick to one planner and fill it up. I've never done it because... You know, Happy Planner has new launches. We want the new things. Or we find out what really works best for us. So, yes, I have not found Planner Peace yet. But I want to do a whole year in 2020 where my whole planner is filled out. I hate blank spaces and I find myself going back to just, you know, being creative and doing a layout just so that I can have it filled in. But... Yeah, I want to be, that means you're not using your planner the right way, um, but that's okay. We figure it out. We find out what works best and we change it up. So that's what I'm going to do this year. And this is December. All right. So I have my section and what I plan on doing after this, once I get these things stuck together, is I'll put them on the rings that I really want them on because they're going to go on the hot pink rings with a different kind of look. But I just wanted to show you, and this is the part that's going to be kind of bleh, because these and this is together. But if I keep this section here, shouldn't be that bad. All right, so I purchased dividers. These dividers are from Planner Press. You're probably wondering, Rita, you make you make dividers. I know, but I just like the fact that it was top tab and I wanted something that was real simple that I could put right here and be able to flip to, through my whole calendar. So this is what it looks like. It doesn't take too much space. We shall see because if you watch my videos, I'm not a big fan of expander discs. And I plan on putting this into a deluxe cover. And this is my catch-all planner. It stays at home. I have my on-the-go planners. So that is my monthly section. And I'm so excited because now I can just go ahead and fill out the whole, the all the things that I know that are coming up in these sections. And now when I go in my planner, I could go January. Oh, here's February. Here's March. And I love that. All monthly. What do you guys think about that? It's a good idea. So I plan on naming this one monthly. And I don't know. I might skip my whole January because I don't know where I want to put this one. This is the section that we're going to be tracking a whole year at a glance. And I want to have all of these together. So I'm going to have a bunch of them. But I really hate that this page is on this side. But you know what? I think because I'm already doing um, my other planner has this January, I might be able to stick it in there somewhere. Or just skip it all together. I don't care. But I'm excited. This might have to go first. Because of this. Yeah. So we might have to have the whole year at the glance first and then start monthly with the second tab. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna name that first section. Yay, so that is the first part of my setup. Why does this look greasy? Um, so I don't even know if I'm gonna have this section. I might make my own little dashboard. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put these on the rings and start sticking them together. But that's it, guys. That's my video on my whole monthly section setup to where it's just the monthly calendars. And I'm excited. So I'm going to stick these two pieces together. That way it just goes right to the next month. All right, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you next time for another part of my planner setup. Bye.